Hello and welcome to HobbyKing.com. My name is Stuart and I'm here to introduce you to our new range of Aerostar ESCs. These right here are the Aerostar RVS G2s. Now before I get into the range, give you a little bit of the backstory. Always like to do that here. Um, RVS, reversing. Uh, Hobby King were the first to introduce this to the market um, several years back, if you remember, uh, when the Tundra released, that had uh, originally had the reversing ESC. That was the generation one. Now, as good as it was, um, the RVS only engaged when the motor had completely stopped. With the G2, that's not an issue because it's 32 bits, much faster, and you get instantaneous RVS, which is great great for EDF braking. Now, the other caveat of the story there is that originally the concept when we came up with it was to have an EDF braking system before we even thought it'd be useful for float planes. But at the time, technology hadn't caught up with the idea and it wasn't instant, so it wasn't really working. But for reversing on water on float planes, it worked. Hence the first generation of Aerostar RVS speed controllers. Come forward a few years and we now have instantaneous G2 RVS speed controllers. And I'm going to talk you through the range right now. Now there's two different types of uh, speed controllers in the RVS G2 generations. Uh, there is the, I guess, non-HV, which go from 20 right up to 100 amp. I think it's 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, and 100 amp. Uh, they're anything from two to four to uh, four to six S. And then we have two options for the HV. There is a 130 HV and a 160 HV. All of them feature that instantaneous reversing system with the RVS G2 function. Now you may be wondering why I've got a model beside me for this ESC video as well. ESCs live in models and what better way to show you the RVS working than with a live demonstration as it were. Now, um, these are obviously good for all kinds of models, but this particular model beside me is my own personal model. It's not a Hobby King one, but it is full of Hobby King components. Um, most notably in this instance, it's got two of the 130 amp HVs, and we're gonna give you in a little minute a uh, demonstration out on a hard surface runway just of how well the uh, RVS system works on the G2 Aerostars. So we'll get onto that in just a minute, but let me talk about a few more of the changes and features with the generation two of the RVSs. Uh, not only are they smaller and more efficient, but they're more compact and streamlined as well. So you'll notice if you hold them up against the earlier versions, they are smaller and lighter. One of the other changes of the range is that the non-HV versions have been upgraded to a 8 amp uh, BEC or UBEC or SBEC, and that is uh, 5 or 6 volts. The HV versions are opto, so of course they don't have a BEC, you would have to provide your own power source for that. What they do have though is this really nice built-in fan, you can see it uh, mounted on top there. That's uh, bolted directly to the really nicely machined aluminium uh, heat sink that you see there. Not a lot of uh, HV. ESCs at this price point include the fan, but ours does. What we also have as a feature on the uh, HV ESC is Bluetooth programming via the Aerostar app. This is the optional Bluetooth module, and you'll be able to download the uh, Aerostar app via the QR code that will be listed on the site of these listings, and you'll be able to program your uh, HV ESC via an uh, Android phone. Not only that, if you are looking uh, for more traditional programming methods, we do offer the LCD programming card. This is a programming card that works both on the standard ESCs and on the HV ESCs. Not only is it a programming card, but it's also a cell checker and it's also a servo tester. So a very handy tool to have in your box. Now, the reason I've got the 262 here is I just want to demonstrate that these uh, products can be used in actually really high-end models. There's a lot of investment in this uh, Airworld ME262, and I've been very, very happy with the Aerostar HV ESCs, as I have the entire range, but in this model, particularly with the HVs. So it just goes to show that these can be trusted in even your most expensive models. So we're gonna go out to the uh, hard airstrip. It's raining now, so we're gonna go inside for a bit, and then when we get over there, it's gonna stop raining, and we'll give you that demonstration of just how well the RVS works on the Aerostar G2 RVS speed controllers. Okay, so welcome to historic Volkenberg. This is a former a Dutch Navy base, and before that in World War II, it was uh, used by the Luftwaffe as well. So what better place uh, to use a uh, Luftwaffe jet to demonstrate the RVS on the Aerostar G2. Now we've got it set up on the uh, taxiway here. We've got a start line, uh, and we've also got a, a drone up in the air there to get a good bird down shot of this. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the, uh, the EDF here on the start line, and then at a certain point, I'm going to power off and let it come to a natural stop. And we'll mark that with one of those cones. Then we'll bring it back again and we'll do the whole thing again. But this time, as soon as I pass that, uh, the point where I'll be standing, 
I uh, will then engage RVS and we'll see just how uh, short of a distance it stops in with the uh, instant RVS engage. It's not a reverse function as such in this setup. Uh, it's more about just braking the model. It's essentially an EDF braking system. So we're going to get the model finally set up and then we're going to run on and do the, uh, the demonstration. Okay, so we're at the start line. The model is now armed. If you come forward, you'll see my two 130 amp ESCs just under the canopy there mounted on top of the wing as you as you saw earlier you got those there there they are okay so there's the ec plenty of cooling coming in through the uh, cannon ports and then a little bit out of the town now in terms of setup for the uh, rvs it's very simple you've got two yellow leads coming off the speed controller uh, speed controllers in this case you just put them into a wire lead and then put that into any spare auxiliary channel on your radio. Now the way I've got it set up uh, on my radio, I've got it on a spring-loaded switch, so that's power, and then I can just... That's a hard stop. Yeah, nice. well, well, yeah, but what I also like, technically, uh, or traditionally when I'm flying I should say, what I do, I power up, so if I'm landing at say like this setting, and then as soon as I touch down I go to idle and then go up. I think it's just a bit easier on the fans at that point. So, with that in mind, there's nothing left to do but to start the run. I'm going to stand a little ways up here, the uh, same position for both runs, and uh, I think this should give you the clearest demonstration of just how well the RVS on the G2s work. The first uh, is going to be a uh, non-breaking stop, so a natural stop, a uh, roll out until the end, and I'll mark it with a cone, and then we'll do the same again with the braking stop. So this is the rolling stop with no braking. Okay. Ready? I'm going to go full power and you tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, right, power off. I'm just steering a little bit. Let's keep it on the center. And there is the natural stop point. I'm going to go grab a cone. All right, so that was the natural stop point without braking. I'm going to bring it around, get it on the start position again, and do with the RVS on the G2 engaged. Ah, of course I do that. <laughs> Jesus. Did you do it on purpose? Nope, unfortunately not. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for the second run with the RVS. It's on the blue line as it was before. And um, the setting on the RVS is linear. So as I flick this reverse switch, the more throttle I give, the more reverse thrust it gets. So if you really want to brake in a hurry, you can just give it as much power as you dare. I'm going to go back to position and we'll do the braking run. Okay, so here we go with the uh, braking run on the Aerostar G2 RVS. This is the one, uh, two 130 amps HVs. Ready on the uh, anchor there? All right, here we go. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, quite a difference. And hopefully you're seeing that from the drone cam. I think that's basically half the, uh, half the distance. And of course, this is on a hard surface. So on a grass surface, you're gonna be stopping you know, at an even shorter distance. Okay, I'm gonna have to close this video out myself because our cameraman had to get to work pretty sharpish. But there we go, that was the testing on the uh, RVS G2. Give you a good demonstration just of how well they worked. Um, beautiful setting, really apt for it. And I hope that gave you a good visual uh, demonstration of the RVS in, 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 in operation. Of course, the RVS is on all of this G2 range, not just the HVs. Uh, and also, I want to point out that um, going forwards, uh, all the Avios and Durafly models that require it will have these new uh, G2 uh, Aerostar ESCs included with the model. So thank you very much for watching. Please look below this video for uh, links to the full range and more details on this great range of Aerostar ESCs in all warehouses. If not now, then very, very soon. All right, see you next time. Bye.